Hi, little love bug kitten babies. How are you? <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm shy, don't look at me. Here I am. I feel very naked today. I don't have any of my rings. Hi, it has been such a long time. <laughs> I thought I would just pop back in here and do a little life update because life has indeed been lifing. And it's been probably honestly about like a year and a half since I posted, maybe more. So much has happened since we've last talked, since you've last been in my world. And it's about time we catch up. Well, what do you mean? I do fear this video may be a long one. So maybe grab a little bevy. Look at how cute this cup is, by the way. I'm actually visiting my parents right now and if you've seen any of my <laughs> past videos, typically ones of me spiraling, I have been in this exact room. So I thought it was only fitting that I film in here. Things are a little bit different. They kind of transformed the basement area into a gym, pop off. Um, so sorry about that in the background, but also like, I'm not gonna move the treadmills, you know? Real quick, let's just top off my gloss. Um, this is Rode Lip Tint in Salty Tan. I had never purchased Rode before this last drop. I just, the blushes, it was the blushes. They really, they really were calling to me. I am wearing them on my cheeks right now. I got Sleepy Girl and Piggy. It only seemed fitting. And yeah, I really like everything so far. No complaints. Um, so much has changed. So let's see, I probably posted last in like early 2023, late 2022. It is now mid 2024. That's disgusting. Whoa, it's just dawning on me. Since then I have entered a different decade of my life. I am now in my thirties, dirty thirties. So like just a recap of where I was. Okay, I was living in California, just kind of struggling. Things just weren't happening. They weren't flourishing. Not much was going on, you know? So basically, early 2023, I started a whole new career venture. And I guess that's where we can start. Let me tell you all about it. Long story short, I was presented with a job opportunity in the sales world. And it was for selling things door to door. Now, when I first learned about this, I was like, wait, what? People do that? That's a thing? What do you mean? How do I know I'm not going to get murdered? Et cetera, et cetera. All of the valid questions, right? And then I learned about the income potential. And I was just like, hold up, hold the phone one second really quickly. What are you saying? People in sales have the potential to make so much money. And I didn't realize that until it was just presented to me. And... At the time, I really was just like balls to the wall. I have quite literally nothing left to lose. So let's give it a shot. So I kind of just left everything behind and I became a door-to-door -door saleswoman. <laughs> I was selling alarms. And when I say alarms, I mean like home security systems. Obviously, if you have one in your house, you know, set the alarm before bed, that type of beat. And what a ride that was. <laughs> what a ride that was. I truly feel in my 31 years on this earth, right? Life was kind of stagnant up until 18. Once I was 18 and I kind of had freedom, I do feel like I've lived 30,000 different lives. Door to door was a crazy time. It I made the most money I ever had in my whole life doing it. Met some really great people. Met some people I would never want to share a room with again. That's just life. It was definitely not a normal job by any means. My family did worry for my safety. They thought I was going to end up in a dungeon somewhere. Thankfully, that never happened. Honestly, the whole time I was doing that for a living, I maybe had like one minute creepy experience, but nothing over the top. 
However, I will never forget this. My first week on the job training, there was a customer who told my manager at the time, he was an old little man in Florida. And he said, hey man, keep an eye on her. People will R word her out here. Sir, what are you saying? One, maybe I can get where you're coming from in the sense of like, hey, protect yourself. But also I fear the call is coming from inside of the house. So after that, I learned to carry around pepper spray with me while on the job. I feel overall, it was a really, really transformative experience, really unlocked a lot of doors for me mentally in the sense of, hey, there's more than one traditional way of making money. What was really cool about the job is that I did get to travel to so many different places in the US, honestly, that I likely would have never been to had it not been for my job. So let's see, I started out in Florida. I've been to Texas. I now live in Texas. Tennessee, Tennessee was a time. Michigan, New Mexico, Pennsylvania. I feel like I've gone to more places. Why is Mississippi? Virginia, just various cities in those states. That is what I did. Did I cry a lot? Yeah. Was it mentally tough? Some days, yes. Other days, honestly, you felt like you're on top of the world. I no longer worked door to door. I had my moment with it. It was a great time while it lasted. A couple months ago though, I did transition and pivot into a different industry. Still sales though. So I'm now a life insurance agent. And what's cool is literally I can work from anywhere. Like work from home has always been the goal. Always, 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 always. With doing what I do now, it's nice because I'm not like in the middle of nowhere in a rental car. People are slamming doors on my face. So yeah, if you or anyone you know needs life insurance, hit me up, I will help you out. Another huge, groundbreaking, massive, alert the presses, life update. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. You've seen some of the videos on my channel. It's obviously not that hard to assume that my past love life, past romantic choices have been really bad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So cute stuff. I now wear my man's initial in my ears. Who would have thought we would have gotten to a place like this? It's kind of lopsided. If you couldn't tell, it's a beat. <laughs> Anyways, after, you know, my past debacles in my life, I was just always under the assumption of like, maybe finding someone is just not for me. Maybe I'm meant to be one of one on this planet. <laughs> I don't know. And then my boyfriend came into my life and it was like, I knew I liked him literally like the first week I met him. We've been together for a little bit over a year. He's just, I love him. Just like a man. You know what I mean? Just like, I can turn off my brain when I'm with him and that, I don't know. I mean, my brain is not on a lot of the times. It is, but I feel safe enough to where I can turn it off anytime I'm in his presence. <sighs> He's just so funny and loving and genuinely a good person. And like, this is crazy for me because I've never experienced this, but he just genuinely like, encourages me to communicate just obsessed with him love him so much like feel so lucky to have him in my life and i never thought i would speak those words so progress does happen everyone i can attest so yes i'm in love with my man we live together in texas i haven't really explored too much of texas to be honest with you um, I will say my favorite thing about it thus far, hands down, is H-E-B. Have you tried the Hatch Chili Bacon? Do not even get me started. That's the best bacon I've ever had in my whole life. It's so good and it's seasonal. So we tried it last year when it came out. 
after our pack ran out, it was gone, nowhere to be found. Anytime we're in H-E-B, we always look for it. And it's in season again, so we just got some. It's a grocery store, right? But it's smaller than Costco or Sam's Club. You still get the perks of the Costco samples in H-E-B because they're handing out samples all the time and they're always bangers. I've never had a sample at H-E-B that's not delicious. Another thing too, since I have not been doing doors, well, this is probably relationship weight too, but since that time, I probably gained like 20 pounds. And since then, my boyfriend and I have been on a fitness, wellness, health type of journey. We've both made great strides. And crazy, I have now become a gym girly. This makes me so sad to talk about, but we also got into pickleball for a good like month, month and a half. And it was so much fun, such a good workout. You burn so many calories, like, but you're just, I, I was like Zendaya and Challenger is just pop, pop, pop. I've never seen Challengers, but I can imagine. And then, okay, I, just as I was mastering my pickleball craft, right? Like it took me a minute because I had never done sports. I'd never done anything. So I'm a little slow. I'm extremely uncoordinated. Just as I was finally finding my footing, right? Something so crazy and unpredictable happened to me and I'm still dealing with it now. Okay, are you ready for this one? Yeah, that's a cast. It's called an AFO cast because I have somehow developed something called foot drop or drop foot. If you're aware of what this is or if it's happened to you, please give me any type of remedy. I've been trying everything that I can in my arsenal. I unfortunately don't have health insurance. American dream. That's besides the point. Anyways, so one day I was sitting like just doing my little insurance job at my desk at home, right? I was sitting on my left leg, like crisscross applesauce, except I wasn't crisscross applesauce. I had my right leg out, but I was sitting on my left leg. Anyways, I was probably in that position for like 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. And then kind of felt like my foot starting to tingle. So I was like, oh, better unlock her. So I was just gonna walk over to the next room. So I put my feet down. I get up out of my chair. When I go to take a step forward, I almost trip. And I'm like, wait, what? That's weird. And then I realize I cannot lift up my left foot no matter what I do. It is permanently stuck to the ground. I'm like, what? Like, how strange is this? My right foot is working just fine. It's been a month since that has happened. Still do not have the power to lift up my left foot. And it's so fucked up because it, one, it feels paralyzed. Like it just feels numb, but it has completely altered the way that I walk now and I cannot run. I can't just walk normally. I have to now walk like a soldier. It's like I'm marching. I have to lift up my whole like, knee to walk if anyone has any remedies for drop foot please reach out i am desperado i use a little tens unit and it sends like electric shocks that's the only way my foot will move up does the feeling in your foot ever come back or is this just my life now anyways i did just want to say i have missed you all so much i've never forgotten you i just wasn't able to give you the full attention that you needed. And here I am now able to do so. When I get back home, I'm planning on filming more content, showing you where I live, like sh just showing you my life now. Just wanted to say I love you all so much. I know that times are so crazy right now and I just want us all to be in the South of France on a yacht. Like we all deserve that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm coming back. And I hope you'll be here because I fear I'm entering my yapping era. Bye.